Hey guys, today we're going to be installing the Stage 1 Mods Kit for the Predator T12CC Hemi from Go Power Sports. Now this kit comes with replacement gaskets, a carb rejet, two vent filters, a main air filter, air filter adapter, beautiful header, air filter cover, and most importantly, stickers. Okay, so the first step in this upgrade is taking off the engine. So in order to take your chain off, you're going to have to find the master link that looks right there. Now just take any old time pliers, go in, and just unclip it. Just like that. Put that clip down, you're not going to want to lose it. Pop out this side. The other side should fall away. The chain's off. Now, in some cases, taking off the throttle is even more simple than taking off the chain. Just spin this, to line up your holes, pull up, and you have chain out, throttle out, and just work it out. The tools you're going to need to install this kit are a pair of pliers, small Phillips head screwdriver, 10 millimeter wrench, 13 millimeter wrench, and a Sharpie. Now that you've got your engine off, work can begin. Basic principle of what this kit is supposed to do is basically get more fuel and more air through your engine, creating more horsepower. I've heard this can end up creating about 8 to 9 horsepower. I don't know if any of that's true, but we'll find out. Also, this kit is from Go Power Sports in Texas. They're an awesome go-kart shop where you can get basically everything you need for it. Go-karts and mini bikes. The first thing I'm going to be installing is this beautiful straight pipe header. This will get more air through your engine, create more horsepower. All you're going to need to install this is a 13 millimeter wrench. Also, make sure your engine is cool before installing. The exhaust can get up to 400 degrees. Once you've got the stock exhaust off, you'll see your old gasket right there. This engine has been run a lot before, so I would like to replace it. Luckily, they send you a nice shiny new gasket and some hardware to install it. Very lightly work your old gasket off, then you can install the shiny new one. Next, take this beautiful header pipe, line up the bolts, and just slap her on there. So they send you hardware, and you'll have split washers and nuts to go on there. Just take the split washers. This is optional. You do not have to do the split washers. 
put those on there. Make sure to hold the pipe. Take the bolts or nuts. Put on, put them on there. And then you can take your 13 millimeter wrench, tighten it down. We're going to be doing the air filter next and the carb rejet. So just move your engine around and you'll have access to the two 10 millimeter nuts that are holding the air box on. Grab your 10 millimeter wrench, move these two nuts. Now just flip the choke to start and the fuel shut off to off and you can pull your air box off. To fully remove your hmm. to fully remove your air box, you're just gonna want to take off this hose right here and this hose right here. To do the carb rejet, all you're going to need is your small Phillips head screwdriver and replacement jet. Make sure the fuel is off for extra measure. I actually ran my engine out of gas before I did this. But make sure your fuel shutoff is off. Then you can turn the engine on its side. Now take your 10 millimeter wrench and unscrew the bolt on the bottom of the bowl. Now you're just going to need your small Phillips head screwdriver and you can take out the jet. Now you've got your emulsion tube and your jet. And you're just going to want to take your emulsion tube and your new jet. Make sure this tube is going up this way into the carb. Then take your new jet, shove it in there. Take your screwdriver and just screw that puppy right back in. Now that you're done with that, you're just going to want to take your bowl, line up the marks that you made earlier, take your 10 millimeter wrench, and just tighten that all back up. Now that you're done with your carb rejet, you can take the nice gaskets that come in the set. They've got three for all the different points where you need to replace gaskets. The only place where I would like to have an actual gasket, which I don't have, is right up here in the front. So just take a little metal guard right there off. Now make sure these two line up. Put that puppy on there. Now I've got a good seal. You can take your 
little metal protector and put that right back on. Now we'll install the second to last part, the air filter. Take your Go official Go Power Sports adapter, air filter, and choke holder, Phillips head screwdriver, and 10 millimeter wrench. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take your official Go Power Sports adapter, choke holder and nut. Tighten that puppy down. Also, don't do this. I'm just doing this for time's sake. Tighten down that bolt. And then just slide that puppy on there. Make sure you get the choke holder over the choke. Then just take your two 10 millimeter air box nuts from before. Tighten them down. Now that that's done, take your air filter, full head screwdriver, shove that thing on, and tighten down the hose clamp. And finally, the vent filters. Take the little red tube that goes in there, put it right back on the crankcase vent hose, and you can push your first vent in there. And then for the gas tank, just take your vent and shove it in there. And now you're finished with your engine. And now for the final touch. Stickers. I'm going to put mine on the gas tank. Really straight. Smooth them out. Also, if you're going to be mudding and stuff, you might also want to use this cover. It'll just add another layer of protection from dust and dirt and things that you don't want in your engine. Now that we're done with the mods, let's get this thing mounted.
Okay, so it's all mounted. Chain's on. Put gas in the tank. Let's start her up. Oh, yeah. And always, whenever you do any work with the throttle, you always got to put with blocks under your cart because it can run away on you. I've had it happen before. Ew, see what she sounds like. driving into the garage right then, I could feel a difference. I'm starting to believe that 8 horsepower rumor I heard in the beginning. All in all, this kit is worth it. It was easy to install and the cart seems to make a lot more power than before. After doing more testing, I realized really the amount of power this thing makes. So if I did anything wrong, please tell me. I don't really want to blow up my brand new engine. It was really easy to install, like I said, and it took only about 20 minutes for me. Um, it's not very advanced, and I think it would be a good father-son project. If you need help or have any questions, just comment down in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Links to stuff and the tools I use will be down in the description.